Well, it's January 14th. It's Shane and I doing the video today. So us tough guys, we stepped outside. Actually, it's pretty nice. It's a lot better than what it has been, relatively speaking. I guess if this was July, it'd feel cold, but it feels pretty darn nice out here. The sun's shining, and uh, the uh, it's just a great day to be in southeast Kansas. I'd like to... Uh, uh, send a shout out to Taylor Clark. He's one of my Facebook friends, one of my dentist buddies I've known for a while. He just sent me his brand new book, Personalized. It's pretty neat look, and I haven't started reading it. I looked at a few of the quotes, but it, I'm excited to, to uh, get started in reading uh, Taylor, Taylor Clark's new book. So uh, congratulations on that, Taylor. Good to see that published there for you. Uh, today we're going to talk a little bit about, about dentures. I know that doesn't happen for everybody, but... We have some questions asked about denture, so uh, we'll hit that here in a minute. Uh, birthdays today, I know the first one right off the bat is Cassie Fletcher. I've known Cassie, of course, since she was just a little gal. She was in Kurt's class, and uh, she's just a beautiful young lady. And she's one of those ones, you know, that always come up and say hi to me. You know, I can be out somewhere, and, and uh, she'll come up and, and give me a big old hug, and, and all these guys look like, you know, this beautiful girl's giving this old fat guy a hug. And I said, well, you know. I'm just, you know, it's just me. So, but happy birthday, Cassie. Uh, let's see, she'd be 19. So, let's see. We gotta, we gotta find the other ones here. We're out here in the bright light, and uh, Courtney Cagle Eaton's birthday is today, and uh, so happy birthday, Courtney. And then we'll catch the ones on the weekend. Uh, Ashley Watkins and Amber Morgan. Oh, well, Ashley's tomorrow. Happy birthday, Ashley. I like your little videos you do. Actually, I do see those. Those are pretty cool. Sam shows them to me. Uh, and then uh, Amber Morgan. She's a hygienist. Happy birthday, Amber, on Saturday. Robin Wells. He's, uh, he's a fixture here in Columbus. I'm, he's been around, well, as long as I have, I guess. So happy birthday to Robin. Uh, then uh, Suzanne Van Zant Lattis, birthday. Uh, she, she, her maiden name was Suzanne Case. And uh, happy birthday to her today. Uh, Vicki Irwin, uh, she lives, I believe, out in Virginia, and she's a real estate agent. She does a lot of, uh, of informational things for people, and, and uh, so happy birthday to Vicki. And then Wilma Van Houten's birthday's on, on uh, Saturday, and uh, happy birthday, Wilma. Have, you, have a great day. So that covers our birthdays, and uh, the question on uh, dentures was, why do upper dentures fit better than lower dentures? And they do. Uh, you know, if someone comes in and says, I just want full dentures, I said, well, let's look and see if there's any way to save some of the lower teeth because lower dentures just stink, full dentures. Uh, upper dentures, they, they fit two ways pretty nice. They fit with, with surface tension, which is like if you're trying to pull two pieces of glass together when they're dry, they come apart. If you put a little water or, in the case of dentures, saliva, in between the, the two flat spots, it's hard to pull them apart. So dentures fit, help fit real nice with surface tension. And then upper dentures also, with the soft palate, have a little bit of a suction that, that click in and suck in and, and holds them up. On the lowers, you don't have any of that. You don't have any suction and you don't have any surface area. So they tend to rattle around, even, even some of the best ones. You know, dentists will tell you, oh no, I can make you know, just a great set for you. And they are a great set, but they're only limited to as great as they can be. So. Uh, if, if, if someone you know or someone's looking at a full set of dentures, if there's any way to save uh, certain of the lower teeth to uh, use a partial, you're just much better off. So uh, that was a question that was asked here last week and wanted to get, get to that. Uh, let's see, link of the day, we don't have one. You'll find, oh God, Shane's going to find one. No, I'm grinning. <laughs> no, no, no scary pop-out pictures. I, I had someone say that scared her and she was bad for a week after that. So, uh, <laughs> We'll have something with puppies, maybe. What about the death metal camels? No, no death metal camels. Okay. <laughs> maybe uh, uh, you'll find something. And then the other thing is that uh, uh, if you're seeing this and you're not familiar with what's going on in Haiti, uh, that's a terrible deal down there. And, and uh, a very poor country that was already didn't have anything has nothing now. And uh, uh, devastation and death. And so... Uh, if if you're a praying person, prayers for Haiti would be would be good. And uh, their last I knew, they were talking maybe 500,000 people died in that earthquake, and in a matter of, of seconds, lose a half a million people. That's that's just uh, that's just unbelievable. So 
uh, our thoughts and prayers to to both the Haitians and the people that are that are helping them. So uh, have a great weekend, and we'll see you on Monday.